What's going on everyone? I am here with Alejandro and Nikki, and he came to visit his monitors. Forrest is maybe still interested in that female that's on the other enclosure. I don't even know what's your spot right there. But he was kind of making fun of me for being afraid of him. And I am standing in a very sketchy spot. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> you see the whole enclosure is flooded. I, uh, something's blooming and there's pollen floating on top of all the, the waters and I couldn't stand it, so I turned the hose on for a while this morning Here, let me show you how it's done jerry and i overflowed a couple of them yeah yeah i was holding a black yeah. dragon just yesterday what's up bud ah uh, there you go oh i think he remembers you he remembers me. i know <laughs> what's up buddy you know you're so you had a let him go for a little bit because you guys got hit with the hurricane and had a, a space issue. Like you guys had a lot of cages that were ruined. That's right. So, uh, what's up, bud? You see, I'm not afraid of this animal at all. Total trust. He could be in my face. He knows me. He's so handsome. But this is what he does every day. He'll come up to me like that. We always, well, I know he wants to, like, but he'll crawl on me, me not knowing him. Like, I, uh, I've been just like baiting him around with food to get him to go where I want. If you could grab his face. We've got a video of him walking up and down the hallway when I moved him from across the hallway to over here. And uh, I just let him explore until he wanted to come in here. Oh, just no no force handling. All in his face. He doesn't. Doesn't care at all. He care. So he's just like, so Lily in the other enclosure, the female, she's that way. Did you miss me? He's a good boy. How cool is that? He's really cool. All right, all right. Where do you want to go? All right, I'm going to go see if I can get Lily out so you can see her. These are his babies. So we made it over here into Lily's enclosure. I'm trying to get Lily out so he could see how tame Lily is. Since he showed me how tame his boy is. And the two of them were just paired up. Uh, I lost count of how many times they locked. Lily, as sweet as can be. Now, this female um, has a history of being male aggressive. And it took a much larger male like Forrest to put her in her place. And I used the two cages together where they could climb on the screen and really have access right up next to each other. And watch and watch their behavior until I saw them her finally submitting she was opening her mouth and hitting the screen trying to bite him but she couldn't bite him because the screen was between the two and i waited until i saw his tongue flicks and her eyes closing and then i figured that was going to be my best shot and they locked two minutes later as soon as i opened the door she's super super nice <laughs> I even got videos where she was walking by cats and dogs in the old owner's house. She's totally cool. Yeah. She's probably not appearance wise my favorite, but personality wise, she's probably my favorite monitor well, head, out of all of them. All head black dragons are, they lose their color, you know what I mean? Because they still have the, they still show signs of all the. Look at her looking at your shoes. Food, food. She's always, she always wants food, and she rebounds from her from she'll lay eggs, and I swear she's cycling thirty days later. Doesn't take her any time. She'll come through the door. All right, now we're walking into the sulfur's enclosure, and I just learned his name is Alex. And the lid's got some weight to it. What's up, buddy? No food. <laughs> he just ate yesterday, so he shouldn't be crazy for food. What's up, bud? It's always super alert. Super alert. Come here. Another super, super Come handsome here. animal. What are you doing? Need to 
There you go. I got the lid for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. For a while. I'm not gonna flinch. Are you gonna flinch? All right. What's up, bud? How does he look? He looks great. Yeah. Dirty. Uh, a dirty monitor is a happy monitor. <laughs> So he's been wintering out here on those 30 degree nights in this, this hide. Come here. Come here. Get him out of the enclosure before my arm fails. Ugh. I gotta change the way that is. It's too heavy for me. Everybody's in love with how good he looks. <laughs> See that? Yeah. He's a good boy. What's up, bud? I'm checking everybody out. And now he's going to move across the hall to, unfortunately, a 5 by 12 Come here. You want to crawl on me? But he will have a better swimming pool. See, what I was curious about is because nobody's ever done research on memory with these animals. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't seen this animal in months. So, when I got um, Lily from uh, Jay's Monitors in Ohio, I was on the phone with him and I was doing something and I put it on speaker and Lily started cocking her head sideways. So, she, she totally recognized his voice and she was trying to figure out where he was. Oh. But she knew his voice. You want to hear something weird about this animal? He gets aroused when I pet him. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, man. I'll be rub rubbing him and his hammy peens just start coming out. And it's almost like he wants to like mount my arm or something. It's yeah. Like a freaking dog. You know what I mean? It's a weirdest. He's always been a weirdo like that. Now you said that he... Look, 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 watch his hemi peens come out. See how he's lifting his tail? Yeah. He just gets aroused, man. He's a weirdo. And I wish I had a female for him. But I don't... You see how, how, how friendly he is? He's, he's loving the attention. And I feel bad for the poor guy. He gets really excited when he, when one of the other females across the hallway starts cycling. And he starts putting, you know, the sperm plugs in his water and whatnot. But. Yeah, we gotta, he's so pretty to me. Man. His, his, um, his family actually came from someone from the Spain Zoo. Oh, wow. Yeah. A gentleman by the name of Tim Healy that's really, he's always bred some beautiful sulfurs in the UK. That's where I got him from. You know who I'd like you to look at is the monitor that I, I keep calling my guru that was purchased as a guru, but it's maybe you can help me identify exactly what he is because he's not a typical guru. I heard people make comments that he looks like a guru sulfur. Mm. Um, he's definitely a mix of something. Might be bivitatis. Well, is it, isn't it two bivitatis that produce the sulfur? Yeah, but not all the time. It has not all the time, yeah. but that's how you get it, right? Yeah. It just, okay. It's like a naturally reoccurring. Let's happens. go. Let's go look at him. All right, we're walking in on my guru's enclosure, and hopefully, Alejandro can help me know what this guy is. I mean, he's awesome. <laughs> It's awesome looking. Okay, so honestly, I mean, he's got some scarring on him. From do you know where this animal came from? Someone told me once, but I don't retain a lot of information. Cause he looks like uh, he's guru, but he looks like uh, I had a I had an animal from this guy. Yeah, he grew he he bred these gurus and uh he did 
have sulfur in their bloodline. Okay. So he might be het for sulfur, but he's a guru. So what would and you? And I don't even know. I don't even know how that works. What I don't do you know think is the a, smartest pairing for him? Is he like? Is it smart to pair him with Pinky, or is that yeah, something you'll, that'll you'll be frowned guru. upon? No, you'll because. Get I have eggs from him and a guru female incubating. I think they're maybe two months out. Yeah, he looks guru. They might have some sulfur. I don't know. All right, so I think we're we're still with the question mark. No, what's his name? <laughs> um, I forget this guy's name. He's the guy that used to breed. He's the one that started breeding guru. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.